Hey Sandy, I just wanted to show you what you can do to copy these uh, these pages within your document and put them in a new document. So here's your publisher file, the different deadlines. I'm just going to open it right out of the email. Let this guy load up. So I am working in Publisher 2010, but it should be very similar to what you're already working in. So you have your various calendars here, we're taking a look at. Um, we'll just go ahead and do August 2013. So what I had mentioned before, it sounded like you were able to get, is you just click and you drag and you're highlighting all your resources that are on the page. Um, once you do that, it's going to have these this bar that kind of goes around everything. Um, what I'd suggest is maybe go up to this graphic and then right click there. Uh, once you do that, you're going to want to look for copy. And if you hit copy there, let that go through. And then I'm going to go to file, new. It's going to bring up all the panel of various things I can do. And I'm just going to go to a blank template and I'm going to do it in the landscape. Let that roll. And finally, I will go ahead and paste. So I can just right click and hit paste. There's a little clipboard button. And it pastes uh, everything that I had on that prior screen right into this screen. Now, there might be some adjustment that you might need to do. So you might need to uh, reselect everything again and kind of just pull it over onto the page, get it where you need it to. Um, you can also use the keyboard to line it up. And now that I'm looking at this, there, you may just jump between the two and kind of see if there's any changes. Uh, I noticed that some of the text has uh, changed its formatting and it looks like it's missing this little bottom section, the deadlines, the due dates. Uh, but that would be the way that you can copy one and put it into another. Uh, one additional way that you can do that, I'm going to go ahead and just close out of that one, we don't need it anymore, is if you take your original and then you just go to file and save as you can do save as give it a second it's going to pop up this uh, save as dialog box is I can go ahead and just save another copy on the desktop and this time you can just call it like August or something like that uh, 2014 so this is the original template and then once you hit save you can go in and you could right click and delete pages um, in that saved version so you just take it down to what you only need in the calendar itself so right click delete one more time Let's see here there's this last blank page oh no it's not blank and delete that and now you have a single page um, in that saved as copy so once you save that you can close it out and you would open up your original file again and do the same thing save it out as a new month um, so you'll notice right here, here's that August one that I just did. So if I open it up, it'll just have one. I'll go ahead and open up uh, the original again, and your original is going to have all those months. So that would probably be your best bet in regard to getting a single calendar in to a file. Uh, once you're done though, so once, let's go ahead and open this other August file that we got going. Uh, once you have this one set up, Give it a second to think about it. Apparently my computer's being a little slow today. All right, so then you'd want to go to File. And sometimes it will put this Save as uh, Adobe PDF in your list. And I know I'm in 2010. It's going to look a little different, but you still have the same kind of uh, features in the older version. But you can do a Save As. And in that Save As menu, when the dialog pops up, we'll take a peek here. You should have a drop down here, and so it has a pub file. Uh, if you do the drop down, and you should have a bunch of different file types, and you can just save it as a PDF. And that's probably a, a better distributable format for you, especially for this kind of a, a project. So once you hit save, then you're good to go, and you should have a PDF that gets generated of your calendar. So let's give it a second to generate that PDF. It's coming up right now. Let's see if it put it on my desktop for me. Here it is. So we got a PDF, and then I'd send that out through the email. Um, it's just going to be a little bit easier to, to send out. So here it is in PDF format. All right, hope that helps. You have a good one.